Hello, this is Callan Bentley. Welcome back for another smart figure. After watching this video, you should be able to describe the tectonic situation that gives rise to the Cascade Range in the Pacific Northwest of the United States. Let's start our discussion on the other side of the Pacific. This is Mount Fuji in Japan. Notice that Mount Fuji has a very characteristic cone-like shape and a snow-capped summit. If we move over to Mount Shasta in Northern California, we'll notice that same cone-like shape and the same snow-capped summit. Both Mount Fuji and Mount Shasta are examples of composite volcanoes. Composite volcanoes are not the small pyroclastic dominated cinder cones, they're not the large lava flow dominated shield volcanoes, but they're sort of middle in size and they consist of alternating layers of lava flows and pyroclastic material. The Cascade Range is located in the northwest of the United States. Mount St. Helens is shown here on this map. Here are the Cascades. It's part of the greater Pacific Ring of Fire, the chain of volcanoes related to subduction zones that wrap around the Pacific Ocean. You'll notice that over in Japan, Mount Fuji is also part of the Ring of Fire. Here's the tectonic situation for the Cascades. There's a very small plate of oceanic lithosphere called the Juan de Fuca Plate. It's between the Pacific Plate and the North American Plate. The Juan de Fuca Plate is separated from the Pacific Plate by a series of oceanic ridges. And these oceanic ridges are continually producing new oceanic lithosphere, which is spreading out from those ridges in opposite directions. Meanwhile, the North American Plate is moving relative to the Juan de Fuca Plate. And where the two meet, the Juan de Fuca Plate is subducting underneath the edge of North America along this Cascadia subduction zone. This is an oceanic trench that's largely full of sediment, so it doesn't look too trench-like. But indeed, what's happening there is the Juan de Fuca plate is diving down underneath the edge of the North American plate. When it gets to a certain depth, the oceanic crust lets go of its water, and that water triggers partial melting in the overlying mantle wedge. That partial melting produces magma, and that magma rises up through the mantle and through the continental crust it may end up lodging itself in the continental crust and producing one of these features that are sort of like upside down teardrops. Those are called plutons. Or it may make its way all the way to the surface and erupt as a volcano. The chain of volcanoes that parallels the trench is called a continental volcanic arc and it's very typical of subduction. So here we can take another look at Mount Shasta with that characteristic cone-like shape. Mount Shasta is located here in Northern California. The Cascade Range runs up through Oregon and Washington State, and you'll notice it also includes Mount St. Helens. Mount St. Helens erupted in a very big way in May 1980, and it blew the top off of the volcano. In the distance here, you can see Mount Hood, and Mount Hood has that same cone-like shape. That's what Mount St. Helens looked like before it blew its top. Now let's return to Japan here for a moment and think about the similarities between the Cascade Range volcanoes and Mount Fuji and the other volcanoes of Japan. What do you think the tectonic situation must be in Japan to produce composite volcanoes like those? Well, hopefully you said that subduction must be involved, and indeed that's the case. Japan sits on top of another subduction zone that's part of the Ring of Fire. Thanks very much for your attention. This has been another Smart Figure.